Okay guys, what we've got here is a Master System 2 modified for the Package 2, which includes the power switch modification, which I'll turn on in a minute. It includes the side mounted switch to switch from 50 to 60 hertz. And on the back, we've got the Master System 1 style connector. So you can use all Master System 1 and Mega Drive 1 cables. Uh, that gives you RGB, video output as well as composite if you want composite and the little toggle switch next to it is the switch for the FM module. It also switches between uh, Japanese language and English language selection so that's it. Uh, the rest of the console looks completely standard just the way we designed it. So I'll just switch that on. Okay so I've got it plugged in, I've got the cable plugged into the connector Got the switch just set to the middle position at the moment, which is off. Got power. We have, that's our SCART RGB coming from the connector. Uh, we've got power to the upscaler. And we've got a HDMI cable going to the TV. So the front of the upscaler is quite simple. Just uh, a couple of simple buttons there to switch between video quality and input selection. And the back's just the, uh, the input source. You can actually also run HDMI input, which is pretty cool. So on this video, we're just going to do the RGB demonstration. So we've got a Samsung TV here. Uh, it's about a 50 inch, about a year or two old. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch this on. That's the LED mod you'll see right there. And running in 50 hertz standard. You can, you can hear the sound and the video quality. That's all in 50. The switch is in the off position and I'll just get this going. So here it is here, here's uh, the uh, mask system, it's really responsive, really good. Uh, what I'll quickly demonstrate is on the controller right here, we've installed the pause button, so I'll just push that. You'll see the screen goes back to the the uh, select screen, push it again, takes you straight back. And for those that are wondering, the standard pause button still works, does the same thing. So that's all cool. So what I'll do now is you can hear the music speed um, and the game speed. What I'll do is I'll flick the switch into 60 hertz mode. You can, you can immediately hear the music change and it all speeds up. You'll see at the top there, we've got going to 1080, 60 hertz, uh, which can also be adjusted on the upscaler. So I can push, I can change video modes on the fly. Uh, 800 by 600 gives it a nice look actually. It's a little bit furry, but in RGB it looks really good. Two four by seven sixty eight, twelve eighty by ten twenty four, nine twenty by ten eighty. That's obviously as good as it gets. Uh, so ten eighty sixty hertz, and it just looks amazing compared to the RF signal. This is what you want. 